Look if you could just very, very briefly explain to us what exactly is going on right now about the uh, vote by mail. Right now, the vote by embassy board, who are at the two tables there, mm -hmm. are reviewing. They finished reviewing the ballots. They've assured. They have ensured that all of these people are, are valid voters. Uh -huh. Eligible voters can vote in this election, and so now they're opening the envelopes so that we can count these ballots. Thank you so much. So they're just making sure that what is now called vote by mail, it is no longer called absentee vote, is actually in. They're making sure it's all valid. There's one signature. Everything is complete and valid and then they'll start counting it uh, as soon as they make sure that it's complete and we'll be back as soon as we have more results and um, some more exciting news for you back to you Lou Thank you back very here much. in the lobby at uh, Lawndale City Hall and a very special guest has joined us the former chief of police of Los Angeles and current 8th District City Council Member Bernard Parks, thanks for joining us today. My pleasure. How are you doing? I'm doing terrific. Good. Uh, we used to bump into each other there in those crowded chambers there and uh, covering them for KABC 790. Right. And, and uh, as always, you uh, were good enough to come and talk to us uh, no matter what the situation That's was. That's true. You, you came you, and stepped up to the mic. Well, the thing is, I either had to come and talk to you, you searched me down. So it was one. <laughs> I took the lesser of the evils. Well, yeah, you could have used some of us on your detective staff, probably. That's right. <laughs> but you're here tonight. Uh, uh, why are you here tonight at Lawndale City Hall? It is election night, I know. It's election night. And I talked to uh, Mayor Hoffman earlier and said I wanted to come down and, and root him to victory. Uh, I think he's done a wonderful job in this city, and uh, I just think the public will return him to office. So I wanted to come by and just say hi to him. And what about uh, 28 years of service so far? Looks like he's going to go for the big 3-0. Well, I think uh, he's just hitting lunchtime. <laughs> he's just uh, hitting his stride, so we just don't want to break a winning formula. That's right, and uh, you are uh, going for the second supervisorial seat of Von Brathwaite Burke, who's been just a hero here That's in Los exactly Angeles right. uh, County politics. Not quite as many years of service as uh, Mayor Hoffman, but uh, she close. Well, you know, she when you count her uh, state, federal, and county time, uh, she's well over three decades, and so she's broken so many barriers and um, done such a wonderful job uh, after 16 years in the the board she's going to retire December 1st and so I'm looking forward to uh, going forward on election of June 3rd in the primary if we're fortunate enough to get uh, over 50 percent of the vote uh, we can have a six-month transition period so we're looking forward to it we feel very good about the campaign the polling and everything since you have were uh, were relieved of your duty as mm -hmm. chief of police you've been very involved and very instrumental mm -hmm. in what's been going on in the Crenshaw district that's and uh, uh, that's just been a wonderful turn of events that's happened there in that neighborhood. Well Crenshaw is uh, is very viable uh, one of the things that the first thing that happened when I got in office we brought to a conclusion a specific plan that set some criteria for planning and zoning then we begin to work on Lamert Park and we tried to turn that into an economic center and almost everything that we do including the MLK parade we find a way to inter uh, weave it into Lamert Park so we're just looking for ways to create economic development uh, housing across the spectrum clean streets uh, beautification programs and just try to make the community uh, livable and the MLK celebration if you've never been to An MLK Day Parade. You got to go. It's a lot of fun, a lot of fun people, yeah. a lot of great food, too. You're right. Uh, you know, one of the things that for years the parade went uh, down uh, uh, King Boulevard mm -hmm. and it stopped at Western, and people looked at each other and got in their cars and drove off. So we reversed it. We end the parade now in Lamert Park, and then we have a festival waiting for people, and they can have a, a great MLK Day for the entire day. So it works out quite well. And uh, obviously, police services are a big. Uh, a big event in your constituency. Yeah. Not only that, but also the supervisor district, supervisorial district. What can you do to help improve uh, some of the things that are going on? We're seeing a lot, uh, a, a rise in gang violence. It just seems like it comes in waves. Well, you know, I think uh, crime is cyclical. It's been that way for decades. I think what we find is that if you wait till they become gang members, uh, you have a very difficult time rehabilitating. Uh, I think also that when we talk about public safety, we really have to get into the front end of public safety, and that's the intervention, uh, education, and prevention. 
if you get into that area, you will cycle people out of that crime wave, you cycle them out of a cycle of violence, and you put them into an atmosphere to where they then have a greater chance to survive. If you just buy more police officers and arrest more people, uh, you'll just keep doing that for the next several generations. Well, uh, uh, Chief Bratton is asking for more cops. Uh, uh, the jails are already overcrowded. Mm -hmm. What type of activities can be done? Is it, uh, what, can those dollars be shifted somewhere else well, in the county? You know, one of the things that uh, we've done in the city, at least, is that we've set budget priorities. Uh, one of the things that we said, yeah, public safety is a priority, but we've expanded the definition of public safety to include library hours, uh, to include our after-school program, to include our park and recreation facilities. And what we decided uh, a couple of years ago as one of our budget priorities that whatever dollars we spent on enforcement, we want to spend at least 15% of that amount on prevention, intervention, and education. So it gives us some criteria to expand, continually expand the definition of public safety. Right over on the left side of the screen, uh, to over our left shoulders, the brand new library is oh, yes. being built, uh, uh, and also Measure A here in the city of Lawndale for the big community center. That's yeah. a huge issue, especially with rising costs in construction and, yeah. and goods and, and, and materials. Uh, are you in favor of something like that? Well, in fact, I was telling Mayor Hoffman earlier, I'm the recipient of a brand new library at uh, 39th and Western, and not only is it going to be twice as big as the library is going to replace with all the technology. It's going to be our first green building that's going to be built in that part of the, t uh, the community. How is that, how and, is that going to work? Well, it's going to work out fine because you know what we wanted to do? It was a, um, a building that we reached the gold standard mm -hmm. on Leeds. But what we wanted to do is make the library, the building itself, an educational instrument. So when kids come to, uh, and grown-ups come and get books out of the library, they can learn as much about the recycled and the, and the renewables as they can about what books they make it out to understand what solar energy is. So we wanted the library to be a learning instrument as well as the books within the library. And also health care is a big issue here. Some people might say, uh, Bernard Parks, we're seeing you live here on Channel mm -hmm. 22 on election night here in the city of London.